the objective of this experiment is for us to realize that creation of the universe which has seemingly infinite complexities can be broken down into basic principle. We will also realize that the concept that we call space and the concept that we call matter were merely an effect produced by the two opposing forces uh, developed when the universal equilibrium is being disturbed. The materials that we need here is a huge water basin, preferably flat bottom, a water, grains of sand, and a ladle. So we will use this ladle to produce a vortex effect. So we will put the water now on the uh, water basin, just uh, enough uh, in order for us to to produce the uh, the effect that we want to convey this this experiment. So I will just wait for the water to uh, become still because I want to emphasize you this that in a state of equilibrium motion is impossible there is nothing to perceive here lies the foundation of the universe stillness is the source of power this uh, stillness is not uh, empty it is not uh, nothingness for it is something that is tangible uh, only that it is still this is what the real life is this is what uh, Walter Russell trying to explain in our experiment uh, this is represented by the water still water um, even Jesus uh, during his time said that God is light, but the people during his time didn't uh, able to comprehend what he really mean. So we will sooner realize that the light that we see in our sun and everything around us is not light as we thought it is. The light that we perceive in our sun is just an effect due to motion. Uh, it is motion of the substance which is light itself. Light is a substance. Uh, and in fact, it is the only substance in the universe. It is a whole in, and it cannot be divided. The seeming division into matter and space is only an illusion due to this uh, motion. So we will produce this motion later um, as we proceed with our experiment. Take a look at the still ocean as an example. We can perceive uh, any separateness when it, when it is still, but once the ocean is being disturbed, uh, waves appear. We now see the waves crest and travel. The waves are not separate from the ocean. It is extension of the ocean to express power. Our sense is deceived into seeing light, for our senses is motion only, reflecting every other motion around. Our senses act like mirrors that reflect motion. That is all that it does. We will emphasize this idea in the future. Now, moving on to our experiment, we will create a vortex effect. You can see this vortex effect all around nature, from microcosm to macrocosm, but we don't realize the effect uh, that is happening uh, during that motion. So here, by using a ladle, um, we will steer this water as fast as we can to produce a vortex effect.
So what we are doing is we are basically disturbing that state of equilibrium by producing a vortex effect. Now, um, observe what is going on. Through this motion, two opposing condition is uh, being developed. One is a centrifugal force. So it is obvious here in our experiment that centrifugal force thrust water molecules away from the center. We already know that uh, in every action there is an equal and opposite simultaneous reaction. What we fail to observe is that two, a centripetal force is also being developed simultaneously. We observe this kind of whirling motion many times, but we don't realize that aside from centrifugal force, a counteracting centripetal force of an equal power is also present in that motion or being developed on that motion but it fails to register to our senses so if the centrifugal force thrust water away from the center how can we perceive the effect of a centripetal force now what i have here is a grains of sand so i will pour this uh, grain of sand anywhere at the whirling vortex. Now uh, observe what is uh, happening here. Here we observe that the grain of sand that we just pour instantly gathered together at the center of a whirling uh, vortex. So in our conclusion, what we just witnessed is that all of the effects that we see in the entire universe are based upon this simple principle. The matter and space that we see around us were just an effect due to opposing forces. The centripetal force produced an effect of matter by pulling wave closer together, while centrifugal force produced the effect of space by trusting wave apart from its other. This effect are simultaneous. So here in our experiment, it is not proper to say that the sand attract to the center. That is only an appearance of attraction. What really happens is that the sands find their balance at the center for they are made of compressed waves. All things move to seek balance and when they find it, they stop moving. That is the only cause of all motion in the universe. The apple fell to the ground not because it is attractive to earth. The apple is made of compressed wave. If it is not resisted by the ground, it will keep falling until they find the environment with same condition as they have. Likes attract likes. This violates the law conceived by our current understanding of the laws of nature that opposite attracts and likes repel. Walter Russell explains that if opposite attracts and likes repel, it would be impossible for us to gather one ounce of gold. Here you will also find the true definition of weight for Weight is the result when something is removed from their true potential uh, environment. Walter Russell defines weight as potential out of place. I can go on forever with this simple with this simply because this mechanics is where everything begins, but let us just say it some in the future. This experiment is what Walter Russell trying to explain to us. For all the laws and principle of nature were born based upon this simple wave mechanics. He even thought when he understand this fact that he can gather all the scientists 
around the world and explain to them this natural law in just three minutes. After a century, his work is still beyond our comprehension. Even though we always witness this vortex mechanics in nature, we will still continue to doubt its uh, reliability. We see it in atoms, we see it in tornadoes, we see it in hurricanes, we see it in our solar system, or even in our galaxy. It is now time for us to reflect, for this knowledge is already available inside us since the beginning of time, just waiting for our greater comprehension. So thank you for watching my videos. So until next time.